Welcome friends. Today we will be looking at creating a COSO dashboard. The COSO stands for the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Tradeway Commission and have COSO framework. It is being used widely across the globe by various organizations in developing their internal controls within their processes. The three main objectives of any of the organization are running the operation smoothly, reporting them and complying with the regulations as such. So this particular internal control framework really helps them in doing this. It contains five integrated components and 17 principles within these components as such. This framework can be applied by the organization by default as such or completely whatever has been defined by this committee or they can tailor made according to their specific requirements. Let's have a look at what is the dashboard which we want to create based on the internal issues has been identified and how we can map those internal issues to this particular components and principle and have a kind of an executive dashboard which can be present to a management or high level executive committee. Let's move on to the second tab. Here you go. So there are certain projects or audits performed during the year and this may apply to the legal entities, various legal entities of a parent company, various years 2013 or 14 and the status of those issues, whether those issues have been closed or not closed or pending for review. Here we have presented the five COSO components and the principles within them as such and the ratings, each of the issues which they have been given, low rating, medium rating, high rating. So we have color coded them. If something is a low rated issues, we have given them a red colored of a green. If it is a medium rated, we have given an orange color. And if it is high rated, we have given a red color. So we have created this dashboard for all the projects being performed till now in 2013 and 14. So if a high level committee or a high level management just want to have a view of a particular legal entity, he can just click on this and automatically this chart will get updated. So if I, that committee just want to have a look of a 2014 project, just click on this. Again, if the committee wants to drill down further and have a look at the open issues, it can be viewed over here. So automatically this chart will get updated over here and you can see that there are only four projects which have the open issues for 2014 and the legal entity is EUF. This is a hypothetical data which I have used over here. This is one of the view you can view it. So probably if I want to move on to the next legal entity, I can just click on this button. Automatically this chart will get updated. Again, if I click on some another legal entity, I will click on this. So this way you can play around with this and drill down further the way you want it. This is one of the view which you can have once you want to come back to the original view, just click on this unfilter icon and it will come back to the original view. There is another view as well which we can create. This is one of the just a charting view which will just give a count. Like in the first chart, you will have the count of the reports issued. So there are 12 satisfactory report issued. Again, needs improvement. 12 reports are being issued and not satisfactory are 15 of them across 2013 and 14. Again, the low rated issues within those reports are 52, 47 as medium rated and higher rated as 62 of them. Similar way, like out of these issues, how these can be classified into design effectiveness and operating effectiveness. The controls, whether there has been any issues identified in the design itself or those are not being operated as being designed. So those issues are being plotted over here. Again, within this design effectiveness, there are 25 low rated issues or medium rated 23 of them and high rated 27 of them. These are more of kind of a self-explanatory chart and you can drill down the same way over here as well. So if I click on this particular legal entity, it will just show me the view for that particular legal entity. If I click on 2014, so it will show me only for 2014. You can see that charts are getting updated over here. So if I click on open now, it will just show me how many unique issues are there so what does it show for legal entity ffk in 2014 the oh there are one satisfactory rated and one needs improvement which have the open issues 
what are those open issues those are one medium rated and three high rated issues out of that one is one is operating effectiveness and three of them are high rated issues in operating effectiveness these issues are again being classified into a coso components over here and again the rating wise as well over here so this way you can drill down further as well you can just click on this so it will show for the another legal entity so this is kind of a final output which we wanted 